What's up, Lions? Jimmy the Mad Dog Heart here with the latest episode of Lions News. Well, there have been some big developments for everyone in the Lions Nation, and the next few weeks are packed with exciting events and opportunities for each and every one of you. These include the start of some of our Lion Winter Sports, the return of in-person schooling, and much more. So here is the true leader of the Lions Nation, Principal Sean Gorman, with some important announcements and info. Happy New Year, Lions. It gives me great pleasure to announce that the Board of Education voted last week for all students and staff to return to campus on Monday, January the 25th. We'll return to a hybrid schedule. What that means is beyond a few special education classes, our student body will be broken up into two teams. One team of students will report on Mondays and Tuesdays. The other team of students will physically report on Thursday and Fridays. When your team isn't scheduled to physically report, you'll still be responsible for joining your classes virtually throughout that early dismissal schedule. On Wednesdays, beyond those few select classes, every student will remain at home participating virtually in our updated schedule so our maintenance department can thoroughly clean the building between the two teams uh, changing. Can't tell you how excited I am to get everyone back to campus. I've always said it is the people at Gloucester High that make it so special. When we all get back together, I have no doubt that that magic of the positive energy, the care for each other will quickly transpire. Remember, any families that still want their child to remain fully remote are more than welcome to do so. You just have to respond to the survey or shoot me a quick email letting me know that. Again, I'm excited to return. I've been draining some three-pointers in that basket behind me all during closure, but I think that this news demands a special celebration. Slam dunk, just like I did on Stephen and Michael Light the other day. Again, wishing you all the happiest and healthiest new year possible. I have no doubt that 2021 has got nothing but greatness and excitement in store for us all. Have a wonderful day, and as always, go Lions. And lastly, in order to prepare for students returning to the campus, all instructional staff members will begin working in the building starting next week, Tuesday, January 19th. This is going to affect all staff members' office hours, and they will not be offered throughout next week to afford all of our teachers and staff members additional time to prepare for our transition to the hybrid instructional model. We'll see you soon, Lions. What's up, Lions? Let's take a look at the club schedules for the rest of the week. Today, Wednesday, January 13th, at GHS Gaming Club, Gay Straight Alliance, and Student Council will meet at 2.30 p.m. And tomorrow at GHS Multicultural Cooking Club, we'll meet at 2.30. All these great clubs are open to all GHS students, so check them out. The GHS Friends of Rachel Helping Hands Club will be collecting gently used blankets, scarves, hats, gloves, coats, jackets, and socks at this year's Martin Luther King Day of Service activity. We are asking everyone in Lions Nation to consider donating if you can. Please begin to gather any materials that you would like to donate as we will be providing you with all the details on how to drop off your donations the days ahead. Hey Lions, Anna Ramundos here with some exciting news for all GHS students. The GHS Media Center is now available for student use each school day. GHS students are invited to come to GHS and use the Media Center as a safe and comfortable atmosphere with reliable internet access to complete your virtual classes. Space is limited. Interested students should email Ms. Springler at lspringler at gcsd.k12.nj.us at least one day in advance to see if space is available at any date that you would like to come to participate in your remote classes in our media center. Of course, all COVID protocols, including wearing a mask at all times in the building, will be implemented. Attention all Lions! 
GHS Musical Auditions will be held this Friday, January 15th at 4 p.m. at the GHS Auditorium. All GHS students are invited to participate and no experience is necessary. Sign-ups for audition slots will be available in our Google Classroom and the class code is KDNDJHN. Audition sign-ups and other paperwork will be posted today, Wednesday, January 13th, as well as stage crew applications. We hope you all will join us and get involved in this unforgettable high school experience. Hey Lions, as you know, we are getting ready for the 2021-2022 course selection for all 8th through 11th grade students. There will be a series of videos and activities over the next few weeks to assist students and their families in making these important choices. We are currently recruiting any students who would like to be added or are interested in the following programs. The GHS Navy ROTC program, engineering, biomedical science, or computer science. Students can email Principal Gorman if you're interested in meeting with the teachers of these programs to learn more. For any lines interested in the many AP courses offered at GHS, a video will be released this Friday, January 15th, highlighting all of our AP offerings, the advantages of taking AP courses, and how to enroll. The following videos are set to be released the week of January 18th. The annual GHS elective fair, the Rowan College Partnership Promotion, Camden County College Career and Technical Institute Partnership Promotion video, and a special video message detailing NCAA eligibility and recruiting. And lastly, a video summarizing all course selection options, variables, and deadlines will be released Friday, January 22nd. So be sure to check all of these important informational videos so you can set yourself up for success at GHS. GHS guidance counselors will begin to meet with students on January 26th to help them begin selecting courses for next year. Remember Lions, all course selections must be completed by February 16th. Hey Lions, did you all know the second marking period grades are scheduled to close in less than two weeks and midterm exams will not be held this year due to COVID impacts? The good news is, is that students still have the opportunity to improve their entire first half of the year grade by excelling in this second marking period. Lines, please make sure to get all of your assignments into your teachers this week to set yourself up to succeed in all your courses during this challenging year and maximize your grade point average. Make it happen, Lines. Hey Lions, Grace here with an important message for all GHS students. The second marking period grades are scheduled to close on January 21st. That is less than two weeks away. Students will continue to have their teachers available to them for individual and small group support upon request during office hours, which are held every day that school is in session from 1.20 to 3.08. Please join the Lady Lions Softball 2021 Google Classroom page using the code NCSWAIQ. The interest meeting will be held virtually using the Google Meet link posted in the Softball 2021 Google Classroom page. All info about the upcoming season and winter workouts will be discussed and posted in the Google Classroom. Please email Coach Megan Mason or Coach Dibas for more information if you have any questions. Students need to enroll in this program so that they can be granted Google Classroom and Google Meet access. Please email Ms. Reinhart at rreinhart at gcsd.k12.nj.us if you would like to take advantage of this additional support. Attention all GHS seniors. The final payment for this year's senior trip is due Friday, January 22nd. Payments can be submitted to Principal Gorman's office using the GHS Venmo account. We are less than 100 days away from departure seniors, so get those payments in by the 22nd. What's up Lions, Chris Baker here with your Lions Winter Sports Update. As you know, the NJSIA released postponement dates to the rapidly approaching winter sports season. We want to wish the best of luck to our basketball, bowling, and dance teams who will begin practice next week. The schedule for practice season start dates are listed here. We look forward to watching our Lions compete again in the upcoming weeks. Go Lions! The Lady Lions softball team will hold an interest meeting tomorrow, Thursday, January 14th at 2 p.m. for any girl grades 9 through 12 who would like to play softball this spring. Please join the Lady Lions softball 2021 Google Classroom page using the code NCSWAIQ. The interest meeting will be held virtually using the Google Meet link posted in the softball 2021 Google Classroom page. All info about the upcoming season and winter workouts will be discussed and posted in the Google Classroom. Please email Coach Megan Mason or Coach Divas for more information if you have any questions. 
Yo Lions, we had a few birthdays over the last couple days, so we want to give a big Lion shout out to Ava Cecilia, Lindsey Fox, Nicole Nicholson, Dominic Ryan, Jada Nicholson, Kieran Kidd, and Giovanni Whittaker. From all of us here at the Lions Pride News Network, happy birthday to each and every one of you. All right, Lions, that's it for this episode. Be sure to stay tuned to all of the GHS social media outlets and, of course, the GHS Live YouTube channel to keep yourself up to date and in the know on everything at GHS. And as always, go Lions!